to you. The demonstrators have already started their march. They held a rally not too far from the district police headquarters here in Wrigleyville, but they are on the move now. Skycam 9 is over them. And this rally in March really doubled in size since we last spoke to the both of you about an hour ago. As you mentioned, about a thousand protesters marching now. And this demonstration is a bit different than the others we've seen over the past few weeks. Now, while it's definitely about police brutality, Black Lives Matter, and George Floyd. It is also about trying to get more support for a civilian police oversight board. This group is supporting CPAC, which is a Civilian Police Accountability Council. It does away with the current Civilian Office of Police Accountability, of course, uh, known as COPA, and instead it, uh, it is an elected board from the 22 police districts who can investigate and fire officers. It is gaining support, but the mayor and others support a different plan which builds on COPA called GAPA. It keeps COPA, but also adds an elected board to work with COPA. CPAC was first introduced by Alderman Carlos Ramirez Rosa in 2016, but as I mentioned, it is getting more support now. But they are wanting to get more aldermen on board, and he spoke to the demonstrators before the march tonight. So that is why we've come here together to say CPAC now, we want true civilian police accountability. That is why we have come together to say defund CPD because the best way to make our community safe is not by investing more in policing, but by investing more in after school programs, job programs, mental health services. That is real community safety. Back live now on Skycam 9. The group is marching to Alderman Tom Tunney's and Michelle Smith's offices. Both support the mayor's plan. Tunney told the Tribune that it just doesn't make sense to start from scratch. Now, there are plenty of police on hand, but so far this has been a very peaceful demonstration. Now, after they march, they do plan to rally back here in front of the district police headquarters here in Wrigleyville. For now, we are live in Wrigleyville. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.